Leon still seems to think that it's all Thomas, that it's not hope, that Steffi is wrong. And I said, the only way for him to really see what's really going on is if he witnesses it for himself. Will that be on the wrong trip or not? But hey, y'all, welcome back to another review of Life with Chester. This is for the Bold and Beautiful June 13, 2023. Okay, so look, Steffi asked Liam how he's doing. And basically, he said he wished he could just be carefree about the whole trip thing, but he not. And I said, look at here. First of all, they seem to be about to, I don't know. I wonder if they actually about to put Steffi and Liam back together because we don't see Finn at all. They, If we do see him, he going into work or either Steffi saying, oh, he's at work still or he worked overnight or something like that. And I said, yeah, an affair going to happen. An affair going to happen. But, yeah, Hope is telling Deacon her mom coming and uh, he want to know if Thomas still going. And I said, why are they all acting shocked that Thomas going on the trip? I said, ain't he a part of the, the Hope for the Future line? I said, of course he going. Why y'all acting shocked? They, they talking about Liam Wyden. They talking about him not going. Come up with ways for him not to go. Uh, he could do a conference call. I said, how y'all going to tell somebody how to do their business? And then Liam started confiding in Steffi, confiding in her and stuff about the situation. And I said, one, that's her brother. So, of course, she going to defend her brother. Then, two... She the boss. She the one who said she said all this. He seemed to be overlooking it. She said all this in motion. You know, but Hope is the one who got feelings for Thomas. We don't know how Thomas feels yet. We won't know until Hope actually makes a move on him. <coughs> Excuse me. But yeah, um, Eric being Brooke and Ridge is cheerleader once again. He says he wonders what what they'll do with their uh spare time when they get in Rome. Taylor says she reacted poorly. When she was talking, she came to see Brooke and everything. And I said, look, I was hoping that they would be like, okay, we could try to fix this friendship or something. Nothing. Nothing. They still arguing over this man. And the fact that, and I didn't write this in my notes. I said, the fact that he still hasn't made his decision, he still hasn't told them, like, look, this is the one I want to be with. I'm sorry to hurt you. I know we got kids together or a child together, whatever the case may be. But, you know, she's who I want to be with. He hasn't done it. You know what that means? He wants both of them. And the only time he don't want both of them is if one uh, declines him, then he going to go to the other one. But, yeah, he hasn't. And I said I would have preferred him to do that, to be honest and say, you know what, I don't want to lead you on no more. Because how much time are you going to get his man? They keep talking about what Ridge wants. Ridge wants this. Oh, he needs time to think. How much time he need? He don't have decades. He know who he want to be with. But, yeah, uh, Taylor said she reacted poorly. But basically, she had good intentions about the whole situation. Brooke don't want to hear none of that. She said, Brooke said, look here, all I needed was a sign. And you gave me the sign. She said, I wanted to, I wanted Ridge anyway. I always wanted him too. Both of them still wanted Ridge anyways. But yeah, um, Ridge reminds, uh, reminds RJ now that it's a business trip and everything. I said, yeah, right. Steffi understands Liam's frustrations, but she reminds him that they won't be alone. This they hoping uh Liam hoping uh Thomas won't be alone. I call his main Liam. <laughs> that they won't be alone. She gonna be there, you know, Ridge now gonna be there, Brooke gonna be there. Liam brings up Hope being the one he trusts and Steffi reminds him of Hope's feelings. She said, Hope the one that has feelings for Thomas. She said she still believed it. Deacon is telling Hope how she's not like that because he was going over his history with Brooke and how both of them operate. And he was like, I don't know how you didn't, uh, basically it didn't get passed down to her. And she just keep making these guilty faces and everything. But yeah, Hope's still in denial. She's definitely in denial. Um, Eric doesn't think it's a good idea for Taylor to tag along. He's talking about something. This is a business trip. I said, shut up. <laughs> I said, you just going to break I said, it is. I said, we all know it ain't going to be just a business trip. But, yeah, it is. In this case, yeah. But you just want him to be with Brooke or whatever. You just team Brooke. You just want him with her. And I said, look, if they were doing better without him. But I knew once he came back fully, it was going to be some mess. But uh, Deacon believes Hope is a saint. <laughs> and she's like, I'm no saint. And I said, you, <coughs> excuse me. I'm getting sick, y'all. But I said, I wrote down, I said, you know, because I was watching Liam and Steffi talk, and I th thought about the other times that they were talking. Uh, where was they at? Was they in the, uh, the office at Forrester Creation? Then they was in another office. Then they was at uh, Spencer Publications. Then they had another time meeting up there when he just, well, Liam just walked in when he was having, when Steffi was with her husband and everything. And I said, look, you know something, the more Steffi and Liam hang out outside of Kelly, you know, because they got to, you know, talk about Kelly and spend time with Kelly and all that. I get that part. But I said, the more they hang out, the closer they're going to become, especially with Finn at work. I said, okay, does anybody know if Finn is going to be written off or 
you know, if the uh, actor that plays him is working on other projects or something, because we don't see him at all. We don't see him at all. We hear we hear about him. And then when we do see him, Steffi's just talking about Liam and Hope and Thomas and what they got going on. So I'm like, okay. Because they spending way too much time, a long time together. Once you done, my opinion, once you done talking about your child or, you know, spending time with your child, okay, get up. <laughs> go home, respect this man's house, and get up out of there. Get up out of there. I ain't say you got to have all this drama going on, unnecessary stuff, but that's where the drama comes in, and y'all get too comfortable. He over here chilling. He over here chilling and stuff. <laughs> and that reminds me of when they had had the affair the first time. Well, not the first time, but, you know, when they stand up there talking about how they was all, the mannequin situation, where they was talking about how they was almost together and stuff after they found out that it was actually a mannequin. So we was almost together. Okay, then y'all should be together if y'all want to be. You know, leading people on. But, yeah, uh, I said the more they hang out, the closer they're going to become. Somebody going to have an affair. It might be Hope and Thomas. It might be Steffi and Liam. We don't know yet. Um, and I said, hey, it's going to be hard for them to do something anyway if everybody got all eyes on them. But if they all got their own little situation going on, you know, they ain't going to be paying attention to Hope and what Steffi is. They got some, I said this yesterday. They got some pictures of her staring at, staring at Hope and Thomas. <coughs> Excuse me. Leon tells Steffi he still thinks she's wrong, and she tells him he, he should come to Rome. Ridge tells RJ not to read too much into the trip. It's just business. He's talking about, uh, RJ starts talking about being allergic to the family drama. And I said, how? You just slick with it. I said, you slick with it. You talking about you allergic to family drama. You didn't come here for that. That's why you stayed away so long. But you keep insinuating that your parents need to be together, and it's the pack really, really where the pack gone. It's over. It's done with you know, but yeah, I said, how is that staying out? You keep giving your two cents. I know you had you entitled to your opinion, but at the same time, do you got to still share it? If she don't told you once that she was okay, and you keep on bringing it up, are you really drama free? You know, <laughs> but yeah, Brooke told Taylor that she can see right through her that uh, you know, she know why she really want to go to wrong. And I said, well, y'all both on the same stuff, so you want to go for Ridge, she want to go for Ridge. The thing about it is, what does Ridge want? Who does Ridge want? That's what y'all missing. Liam coming along or not. I wrote down Liam. If Liam chooses to come along or not, that's not going to erase the fact that Hope has feelings for Thomas. They keep act, you should come along. Why I said that? Steffi said that. And my thing is, y'all act like him coming along is going to erase the fact that she got feelings for him. It don't matter. She might not act on it or do nothing, but I still feel like it's getting hard for, harder for Hope to hide how she feels anyway. So it really don't matter. It's only a matter of time before Leon sees it anyways. But what's going to happen once he sees it? Steffi suggests she keeps an eye on things in Rome and everything. And I said, <laughs> look, that's why they got that. Uh, I think on the preview they showed her watching Thomas and Hope was, uh, I don't know if they was on like a bridge or something. But, yeah, um RJ brings up how Ridge and Brooke would have been together if it wasn't for what Thomas Pool. And I said, well, that's kind of, technically is kind of true. Um, and he didn't have no business doing that. And I said it before and I said it again. They should have got a divorce or broken up because it's long overdue. <laughs> Not because somebody tampered with their relationship or their marriage. But the fact that he was willing to go just divorce her like that. And again, you got to consider the fact that he did hear her voice. That's weird. <laughs> that's weird. You could record somebody's voice like that. But uh, I said, it's going to be an intense trip. If Taylor go, the fact that Steph is going to be watching Hope and Thomas, the fact that they said uh, in the spoilers that not only is she going to be watching them, some more people going to be watching them. So, yeah, this is going to be a very intense trip. But we shall see. And then they said, Leon's supposed to come. So, yeah, we'll see what happens. Y'all let me know down below what y'all thought of this episode. Stay tuned for more videos. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe if you haven't already. Until next time, this is have a great rest of the day and be safe.